here we go. When Zoom introduced the Zoom apps, one of my favorite apps was the timer because it didn't require any of the participants to install something or go through a complicated sign-up process. But the challenge was that the only way to share the timer was by like on this side, share that screen, share your slides. And if you're already sharing slides, then you can't share your timer. And that was a big problem. I guess my timer is up. You now have seen it is now possible to add a timer to the top left corner of your screen with the Zoom apps. And in this video, uh, I just want to show you exactly how to set this up. So. First of all, um, on the bottom of the Zoom window, you should see this apps button. I'm going to click that right now. Hold on. I need to close this so you see what you usually would see is this. If you don't see that apps button show up, uh, I have a video that I created where I'll walk you through the steps of enabling that, which I'll link up here in the corner um, and in the description. But if you have apps installed, this is what you will see you will be able to see the apps you already have installed and you'll be able to see a discover tab. Um, let me actually zoom in a little bit over here and I'll pop myself on the screen over here so you can still see me because that is maybe a little bit too awkward. Um, so if you go to the discover tab, you can organize all of the apps by alphabet and you just scroll down all the way to until you see the timer by Zoom productivity. If you have not yet installed this, it will ask you to add it. You need to sign into your account on the website. Again, I'll link the video above with all the instructions. But once you have that enabled uh, and you click open, you will see this little Zoom window pop up on the side of your screen where you can simply add minutes seconds you can use one of the presets down here and select like five minutes 10 minutes etc if you want to do it quickly number two you can check on and off if there should be a sound that is audible for yourself and for participants um, and then you can click start and the new thing is down here and um it simply says display timer for others if this is checked off and I start a timer, it will just be visible to me. Like this window on the side here is just visible for myself. But if I click this on, it will pop up this little circle that has this line that slowly goes around as the time runs out, turns red when it's done, and it makes a sound uh, as well if you have set that up in here. So I'm just going to pause it again. We're going to reset it. We're going to hit it for five seconds so you can watch this again. Um, so you can see the circle is kind of animating and then turns red when it's done and it actually disappears by itself after uh, a couple of seconds. So this is a really cool functionality, which I hope many of you will use to keep your meetings on track. Uh, if you are interested in some other ways to do countdown timers on Zoom, maybe this is not the one that is for you. Maybe you're can't make this work for your specific use case, I will share another video up here or in the comments below of my top five timer apps for Zoom.